and did the Superman Whoa. straight off the joint. He said, my man said, I, I missed my car by like like eight inches. I mean, wow. if I hit the car, it'd have been a wrap. I would hit head first, but I'm... Um, Hit my um my hip first. I had like an extra butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Rapper DMX broke out in the late '90s as one of hip hop's most unique and singular performers. Yo, mouth <laughs> got my dogs covered. Plus, it's all gravy like chicken when it's smothered. It's dark and I love it. But after a career that would span seven studio albums and numerous appearances in some big time Hollywood productions, DMX would pass away at the age of only 50 after suffering a fatal heart attack from complications related to drug overdose. In this video, we're gonna to take a look back at when DMX was still with us and more specifically at some of the properties he once called home. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. As difficult as the news of his passing was to process for the millions of his fans all over the world, the truth is that life had always been something of a struggle for the man once known as Earl Simmons. Not only did he spend his childhood in multiple New York City public housing centers, but even after finding success and earning millions, debt would continue to plague the superstars he moved from one city to another, from the streets of a New Jersey rental to a failed investment property in Harlem, New York. He even once purchased a summer home in Arizona that was sold at a $100,000 loss. Even at the tail end of his life, he was trying to move off of the one property he still owned, a $1 million home located in Mount Kisco, New York. These repeated foreclosures for sales and major investment losses are just a taste of what's to come on this house tour. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, looking at the homes of the late rapper DMX. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. Now let's get into this video. Let's circle back to the beginning of DMX's journey and then make our way forward. When DMX was a child, he spent a lot of time living in public housing development, be it Mulford Gardens or Clacagno Homes in his hometown of Yonkers, New York. Once he'd gone on to become a world famous rapper, DMX would honor these public housing developments that played a large part in raising him by featuring them in many of his early music videos. This includes the classic Aaliyah collab called Come Back in One Piece. He'd also never forget the five crucial years he spent living on and off at the Children's Village group home, located in Dobbs Ferry, New York. It was while living here that DMX became determined to change his life around by becoming a hip hop legend. Later in life, he'd pay his respects to this crucial part of his past by making regular visits as an adult to inspire the kids that now called Children's Village home. Once DMX had begun to establish himself as a force in the music industry, he picked up a small three bedroom, one and a half bathroom home in the quiet town of Teaneck, New Jersey. At the time, the rapper was living with his then wife, Tashira Simmons. And for a little while at least, things couldn't have been any better. But then, in the early 2000s, DMX was hit with animal cruelty charges after police found out that he had been mistreating the 10 pit bulls that had been sharing this two story colonial home along with him and his wife. Couple that with multiple reports of illegal weaponry also being found in the home, as well as the place falling into a state of disrepair. And by 2005, home had sadly been sold to a new owner for only three. $380,000. Today, website Realtor.com estimates that this home would now be worth around $450,000. While still living at their home in Jersey, DMX and his wife purchased a Harlem brownstone in 2001 for around $750,000. At the time, all reports suggested that the couple were planning on renovating the three-story home into a series of apartments and then renting them out. Unfortunately for these best laid plans, zoning laws made that an impossibility. Furthermore, the work that DMX had already paid for only got him into all kinds of hot water with permit and worker safety lawsuits. Basically, it was a mess. When all this became too much of a hassle for DMX, he quickly tried to move off of it. He apparently had a $1.6 million offer on the home sometime in 2006, but the sale didn't go through and the home was ultimately sold at an auction in 2008. Forget this, 120K plus. DMX still had to cover around $400,000 in debts associated with the property. 
my gosh, talk about a money sub. These days, the home is now completely renovated and probably as gorgeous as DMX always imagined it would be. With its large windows, chef's kitchen, and beautifully manicured front lawn, it's just too bad that X didn't get to stick around to see it. After moving on from his Jersey home in the early 2000s, DMX picked up this Pueblo style summer home that spanned 3,700 square feet of space on 2.2 desert acres out in Cave Creek, Arizona for $575,000. Featuring five bedrooms, four bathrooms, stone flooring, granite countertops, custom made cabinets, and a one bedroom guest house, is there anything this place doesn't have? Well, hold that thought for just one second because I haven't even mentioned the outside yet that provided an outdoor kitchen, an in ground pool, a playground, and multiple horse stalls. Located on the breathtaking Cave Creek Park Trail system, the home is also surrounded by miles of riding, hiking, and biking trails that are perfect for outdoor exploration. Rather than take advantage of all the nature this home provided for him while living here, DMX once again found himself in trouble with the law the exact same reasons as before, animal cruelty. Soon after his house was raided in 2007, DMX would sell the home at a loss the following year for $447,000. Around the same time that DMX was picking up his home in New Jersey, he also bought himself this 3,600 square foot home located on 2.5 acres of land in Mount Kisco, New York for reported $912,000. Located about an hour outside of Manhattan, this area of northern Westchester has attracted former residents of the big city ready for a taste of that suburban living. Once DMX and his wife Tashira moved in here in the early 2000s, this became their primary home until their eventual divorce. From that point forward, it would become Tashira's home and a massive financial burden for DMX. In fact, the rapper would struggle mightily to keep this modest four bedroom, four bathroom home away from his creditors. Twice, this home almost fell into foreclosure, but each time, DMX managed to save off the inevitable. That being said, DMX very much wanted his ex-wife to move out. She simply refused to do so. He once told the USA Today, I told her she's living above her means, that you can still live on the same block as Martha Stewart and Chevy Chase. You gotta downgrade. But she refuses to do so because the house is in my name. She doesn't give an F about my credit. By 2014, he had paid back a massive $250,000 loan against the home, but two years later, he was filing for bankruptcy and transferring the ownership of this home to an LLC in 2019. Then before anything else could be settled in regards to this home, DMX would pass away after collapsing from a heart attack, leaving behind a real estate history every bit as tragic as so many other aspects of his life. A single bright note to all of this? Well, remember how I mentioned those public housing developments that DMX used to live in? One of the former properties, Calcagno Homes, has now created a stunning mural in recognition of their former tenant. At least now fans of DMX will always have a place to travel and pilgrimage to in order to pay their respects to one of hip hop's late greats. My name's Karen, if you enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!